Hello and welcome to your second tutorial on Cinema 4D. In the last tutorial we created a flow and a ball. We attached rigid body tags to both of them. We did this by pressing simulation, dynamic and rigid body and we set the attribute for the flow um, the bounce to 200. And in this tutorial we're going to be doing a little bit of animation and I'm going to give you the foundations of how to animate an object or animate in Cinema 4D and this is a very very important tutorial. If you understand this I think you should understand the basics and also probably the advanced aspects of animation. Okay so what we'll be doing is animating the ball. I'm going to make the ball shrink and grow and we'll also make the flow move and I'll show you two different methods and you can decide which one is best for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys on the I, I'm going to start on frame 0 so you can see the 0 uh, frame sorry the blue frame thing image is on the left. I'm going to click on my sphere and now I want to introduce you to the attributes panel which is right here and the attributes panel has different tabs. I'm going to click on the object tab you can see the radius of the sphere is at a hundred percent so what I'm going to do is just change that to about 30 and watch the ball shrink when I press the enter button so the ball has shrunk um, at this point we're going to be placing a keyframe and basically a keyframe is um, what that particular objects what the attributes of that object will look like at this particular point in time so at frame 0 the radius will be 30 and the way I uh, submit a keyframe is press control and click on the edge of the um, what's the word of the property that we've changed so I have changed the attribute to 30 so I'm gonna click there and it has gone red so that means a keyframe has been set for the radius now I just want to show you guys right here um, where the keyframe is at the bottom there's this bluish sort of uh, thing or oh, well it's gone orange at the moment now I've clicked it but that uh, represents a keyframe and that lets me know that at that moment in time there is a keyframe what I'm going to do is move over to about 40 uh, frames in time uh, go to the uh, attributes of the ball so I'm gonna click the ball or actually just click the ball from here go to object and um, this time what I'm going to do is put it to a hundred um, not a thousand a uh, hundred and then again press control or command de depending on your uh, computer I'm gonna press click and you can see it's gone red and that means a keyframe has been set so let's just uh, go back to the home which is pressing this button right here it's gone back to zero I'm gonna hit the play button and let's see the ball has started to grow so now what I'm gonna do is go to uh, 80 frames and then um, yeah just guys watch and see how I do this so 30 press card control and I'm gonna click and another keyframe has been set and let's watch this grows and shrinks so okay that was one method um, and that's quite a cool method I think um, and that method is for when you want to specifically change only one attribute so if you want to just change the uh, radius size of, of an object or whatever and there's, uh, there's lots of different things we can change um, now what we'll do is go back to the home and I'll show you the second method um, of actually uh, using uh, animation and th this time we'll animate the flow so what I'm gonna do is make the flow come higher lower and maybe change the rotation and see what happens um, we might go a little bit crazy with it but we'll see what happens anyway um, so I've clicked on the flow now I want to introduce you to this button right here um, in the middle where my mouse is and that's auto frame and um, that's just automatically uh, selects a keyframe so what I'm gonna do is click this button now notice the edges of my uh, uh, window has have become red um, what I'm going to do is move to frame why not 40 and I'm going to just move the height and I've just clicked on this uh, cone green cone and just moved it up and then I'm going to submit the keyframe so I'm going to press this button right here so the keyframe has been submitted and um, we would have done it automatically anyway but I've got this thing where I just need to get it make sure I've definitely submitted it so the keyframe is submitted using this key um, button and now what I'm going to do is move further in time even more maybe 80 frames 
this time I'm gonna drop this and then click on the rotation button and maybe I don't know just rotate it a little bit and you have the keyframe submitted now what once you've done your animation make sure you deselect this auto keyframe button so I've clicked and that's deselected now I know that I'm not gonna you know move something change something and end up accidentally submitting a keyframe so that's something that you need to be mindful of um, only when you're animating you press the keyframe so let's just watch and see what happens play this you see that moving the balls rotating the ground is moving and you can see now the ball is having an the flow is having an effect on the ball you can see it's now as though it's going downhill so that's the physics of cinema 4d and you you can also see even though it's the balls moved outside of the um, the flow area. There's, it's actually the flow actually is unlimited. It extends throughout, so you can see it'll keep bouncing down the hill. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure you check back for the next tutorial where we will cover a topic which I have not decided on. So that will be interesting for you guys. Uh, take care, peace, and comment, rate, and subscribe.